sunshine tracking her entire tent across the park because we what's, set it up. We're on a journey. We, <laughs> we set up our tents literally right next to the sprinkler and it blasted directly into my tent when it turned on. <laughs> it's so... My shirt's so... I went to plug my thing in the power box and it squirted water. Into <laughs> Welcome to day 76. Day 76! <laughs> You're gonna, push, you're gonna push me off the mountain. <laughs> I can't. We, it is 8, 9.15. <laughs> and we just got back on trail. Molly was kind enough to drive us back up after the first uh, shuttle. Somehow there was an extra person, so she couldn't take the both of us, so she came back, which is very kind of her. <laughs> can't breathe. So last night we went to the, we went to a fiddle concert and it was awesome and weird. And then afterwards we went to the campground and our friend Boomerang told us how there wasn't going to be any sprinklers. <laughs> Woo! Hello 1600. Yay. Anyways, we went. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We, trusting Boomerang's um, words of wisdom that the sprinklers weren't going to go off, we just sent our tents up in the middle of the field, and I was just over charging my stuff, la di da di da do de do uh, well, trying to, because everything was, there were like 40 people at this, this park we're camped at. So all the plugs were full, and while I was doing that, the sprinklers turned on and started blasting directly into the outlets. Nice. And I didn't even think about it at first, but that was like a moment of realization, like, oh no, my tent. My uh, tent, apparently, I set it up like this far from a sprinkler. <laughs> so here I am in the middle of the dark running across this field, trying to get to my tent, which is being blasted with water. And I just had to put my tent doors up because the sprinkler was oscillating. So when it came back around, it wouldn't blast in my tent. And as it was going back around, um, I like frantically ripped my tent down and put it up in another spot. Well, that wasn't the end of the fun. <laughs> Apparently we camped, we camped next to another sprinkler that I thought wasn't going to go off, but apparently it switches between two sets of sprinklers, and so that one started going off, and here I am panicking again in the middle of the night. <laughs> Ripped up my tent a second time and moved it again. Sunshine was too lazy to move her tent a second time, so hers just got blasted all night. So... Running on not very much sleep right now. We have to go 20, either 30 or 26 today. And then hopefully we can find camp spots because there are a lot of people out on trail in this area and leaving town. So there's gonna be a lot of people competing for very small campsites. Um, so it might be a longer day than we want it to be today. Boo. It's very nice out today. It's nice and cool. Uh, it's still early though, so it can get hotter. It was hotter down in uh, Etna. Um, what else? Oh, my tent. Even though my tent got blasted with the sprinkler, it was dry by morning. Thank goodness. Yay. <sighs> Can't breathe. Whoa. Almost fell.
Oh look, it's Mount Shasta again. Again. This is Mountain Heather. Ooh. This deer doesn't care and is just wandering around. <laughs> harassing other hikers. Look, a fun cave that I really want to go into, but <laughs> I don't know how to get down there without dying or get back up, because I'm up. not a rock climber. <laughs> yeah. North of Kennedy Meadows North. Uh, Sonora. Welcome to day 77. Today we go into Syed Valley. We have 27 miles to get in there. We decided that um, I don't know why I do this uphill, because then my brain stops working while I'm hiking. We decided to do just 29, just 29, yesterday, uh, and not try to get to the restaurant before close at 2, because we literally just came from town. I spent a lot of money at the restaurant, so I don't really need to go to another restaurant. It's probably better for my wallet that I don't. Um, and so, Sunshine got to camp around eight-ish, and I was very happy to not have to go further. Um, I was uh, ready to be asleep, and I slept super well, so that was awesome. Um, today, mostly, we've got a couple miles of some baby ups and downs, mostly flat, and then we start the 20, mile descent, 20 plus mile, or just 20 mile descent into Syed Valley, it probably will be mostly like flattish and I won't even know we're going down because you can't really go down for 20 miles with any significant drop in <laughs> elevation. So yeah, hopefully they have laundry, haven't done laundry in a week, feel pretty gross. I'd like to watch my shirt uh, and we're gonna do a short resupply for the border and going to the lodge in Ashland where we're in Medford where we're gonna fly out from the sun is so bright it's blinding my camera well that concludes most of the up for the day yay now I'm on this ridge Ooh la la. That's probably Side Valley over there. Or over there. I don't know. Who knows anything? Not me. Here we've got a wild sunshine hiking through the wilderness of Northern California. As you'll notice, she has one arm on her hip and one arm, arm hanging loose. This is to show you that she follows the SAP principles. Number one, foremost being sass. So she's got that sassy arm up. So you know she means business. <laughs> Sunshine is hiking bats today because she's motivated by beer. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting close to the wild sunshine. <laughs> In order to let the wild sunshine know that she's not threatened, you gotta call out. <laughs> you see her sunshine go, beer! Beer! Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't make a video while we were going through this area, but there were a lot of blowdowns in this last section and we were pushing through a lot of bushes. Right, Sunshine? Right. Pretty much following this creek and crossing it a couple times in this valley all the way to town. And there are lots of berries and the further down we go, the more berries are ripe. I've seen strawberries. Blackberries, possibly raspberries, thimbleberries. <laughs> Yay! Berries. Bridge, 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 bridge. 
Look at what I found, black raspberries. I don't know if they're entirely ripe yet. Oop. Hmm. Nom nom. It's not ready. That wasn't very sweet. <laughs> Pretty, pretty bark. I don't know how far away I am, but I don't want to look. Because I don't want to know. I hope I'm getting close to the road. Made it to the road walk. There's all sorts of berries on this road, but it doesn't look like the ones on this road are, are ripe yet. I just uh, dunked myself in the creek before doing this road walk because it is hot as hell out. And I realized it was exposed. I also got some water because I think that's my last water for today. And like I said, it's hot. So Dine and Dash needs some water to drink. I should pull out my umbrella. What am I doing? I'm a fool. I need to put my poles away, pull out the umbrella, keep an eye out for more black raspberries Ooh. and blackberries I haven't seen any red raspberries yet soon hiding from the sun are these black raspberries nope just blackberries that are not ready yet this road is a lot of blackberries aren't ready there's a couple different varieties of blackberries are out and about um, and the smaller ones are ripening but these big big bushes I'm walking by of them um, have berries on them but they're all green still I think the smaller ones are called mulberries or wine berries they're not actually blackberries but they're all in the blackberry family the familia <sighs> road walking fun. <sighs> All these blackberries that aren't ripe yet. All those people, future hikers that hopefully know what blackberries look like will be so happy. I'll just have to come back in a week. <laughs> I'll flip it back down. Will I ever make it there? La 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 la. It is 5.44. Here's Sunshine. She Hi. was running, so I never caught her until we got to Side Valley. I got ice cream. I resupplied, which really wasn't even a resupply because I had enough food for a full resupply, pretty much. And then I got two ices because it's hot as hell out here. And Sunshine peer pressured me into hiking out. This is how the conversation went. I'm going up. And then I was like, okay, fine. And there was a lot more <laughs> complaining on my end, but that's pretty much what the conversation was. <laughs> Welcome to day 77. We camped right over there. And now I am walking this way. <laughs> so helpful. Last night I tried to video, but I ran out of video space because I downloaded one of my other videos. <laughs> and this is what it was like coming up, except... I couldn't see the trail and there was a lot more bushes. Here I am just walking and cradling my, ba my breakfast, my bag of mini wheats, trying to stay on trail, but it ain't easy. I really know there's a trail. Mini wheats! Just ate my lunch and then stopped three tenths of a mile further to get more water. I decided that I need to carry two liters of water because it is toasty out. And I'm drinking a lot of water, so, and all the water sources up ahead are long side trails, which I don't particularly want to do, but I'm probably gonna have to do it at some point today because I think the next one is. 12 off, which I should be able to make it to 
if it remains to be a live forest, but if it turns back into burn areas, which it probably will, then it's gonna be significantly hotter and I'm gonna drink way more water and then I'm gonna have to stop. Boo. <laughs> Today I should hit the Oregon border, uh, Oregon, California border. I don't know what Sunshine wants to do. I assume she also wants to hit the Oregon, California border. It looks like there's a campsite right after near one of the roads that I'm going to stop at and uh, that will put us 28 out from Ashland which puts us a full day earlier in the town. I was kind of annoyed with that earlier because I didn't want to feel like that's another zero on top of the zeros already taking but it doesn't matter because our average is still 25. We just ha did better than we intended and now have a full day. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna utilize that day as chore day. So when I go and visit Gabriella, I'm not doing those chores while I'm visiting her. I have to look at all of the resupply places in Oregon and decide where I need to send boxes to because apparently it's a lot of lodges and not the towns are really far away so I need to hopefully get that all sorted out before I get there so that I can just go to the grocery store and start making all those boxes to ship out before my flight. <sighs> Logistics. My new thing is English muffins. <laughs> These ones are super squishy, so I'm all about it. It is four o'clock, and I have 7.2-ish miles to get to the border, which is not very much, and I anticipate it's gonna take me a little over two hours or a little under two hours something like that <clears throat> and I anticipate getting there at six ish maybe yeah I was gonna say something but I forgot oh well <laughs> been walking out into fields like this in between the trees of these little baby flowers which are called pussy toes that look like little cat's paws I don't like the way they smell. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in fields of it this large, so I haven't really smelled enough of it or gotten close enough to smell it. That doesn't smell particularly good. Gross! They're very pale and dull flowers. Some of them are like neon pink and bright white. These are pale yellow and pinkish. You can see more of the colors went over there. It's very shaded right now, but bugs are dive bombing my eyeballs, so gotta protect them with my, my sunglasses. Look, a bird egg. Oh, it's so blue. Look who finally just caught me. You're never gonna catch me. Ah! <laughs> Run away! Run away! <laughs> You're never gonna catch me. Ah! <laughs> Is this the end of California? Oh my gosh! Oh. Ah! <laughs> my first step out of the state. Look, wait until I'm done! First step out of the state. Woo! Yeah! Wee! <laughs> Sunshine's first step out. I haven't done it yet. Have Do it! Do. So here we have California, and you're witnessing me. Walking into Oregon. Yep, that's how you normally walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here! No, I'm sweating! Don't touch me! 
Oh my god. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> Welcome to Oregon. I'm getting a lovely rock massage on my stomach. <laughs> wow, under a thousand, huh? I just <gasps> <laughs> hey, I gotta go six. Wow, a whole new state. It's so different. I'm in Oregon. Goodbye, California. There's Mount Shasta. She's always watching. Here I was, cooking my water, it was done. And then I spilled it all out. So now I could do it again. Well, it doesn't really look like it in this video, but these here noodles are purple and delicious. Thank your mom! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to day 78. I have 20, less than 23 miles into the lodge area and the highway that goes into Ashland. I'm going to try to get in Ashland tonight and get a hotel because my pad doesn't stay inflated anymore. And I don't want to sleep on the ground. That's hot out. I want to be inside. <laughs> 17... Hundred. It's really hot outside. <sighs> I was told that there may be soda still up at one of the roads. Every road I cross, say, which was a bunch. I was like, is it here? Is it here? Is it here? What's the point of crossing this road if there's no soda here? And I was really hoping there'd be root beer. And I found it. And there was only root beer. There was only two left. I have one of them. <sighs> I manifested this. Thank you, Trail Angel. Just walked up to this road and there were like 20 cars. A bunch of people getting out all with like little nets. Well, they were big nets. It's like, what in the world is happening? Are they out here to catch some butterflies? And so I chatted up some of the people on the trail, asking them what they were looking for. And they uh, are ecologists and biologists and naturalists and volunteers and all these other people forest servicery people all that good stuff out here looking for a nearly extinct beastie species species they were looking for a rare bee that may is close to extinction uh, to catalog them and then release them back into the wild and while I was talking to them, they're like, oh, you want some cold soda? I'm like, heck yeah, I do. <laughs> so I went, walked back the short distance down the trail to their car and they gave me soda and watermelon and cookies and we chatted about nature things. And yeah, that was a very nice second trail magic for the day from some really cool people who are doing exactly what I kind of want to be doing when I'm done with this. We'll see how that turns out though. This is the strangest part of the trail I've ever been. It's like someone's private property and I'm just like walking right next to it under this tree. Kind of cool if you like the PCT, kind of not if you don't. The trail goes like this. Right next to this road, so. Being me, I'm walking the road instead. <laughs> the CDT has permanently ruined me with roadwalks. I like them too much. <laughs> I made it to the junction to the lodge, and I'm waiting for sunshine here she'd probably be another hour or 30 minutes to an hour is my guess um and then we've got a hitch with the trail angel to 
Bedford to the hotel we got tonight. And I will be staying in tomorrow night. Sunshine was able to get uh, her flight changed so she could go visit her family a day early. And there's really no point in me changing my flight because um, my friend will be working tomorrow. So I might as well just chill in town and figure out my resupply. And then I'll head out in the afternoon to fly um, to Portland. Yay, zero days. Woo! This is the, my hat in its amount of sun fadedness. Wow, it looks nice until you see the other side. Wow, so bright. Dollar. Bright. Dollar. Bright. Thank you, hat, for protecting my face from that sun damage. What is this random bit of concrete right here? I don't get it. I don't get it. What does it mean? Here I am at the road. This concludes uh, this vlog for until I get back from a mini vacation. Yay! To Portland. <laughs>